as, as the, if you understand the, the, the true creation of life, you understand that life can be bred off of anything. It's just all about the quality of life is what, what really is into question. And so that's also becomes in many tense the foundation because it's something that can only ascend beyond a certain point. When you have a, a, a idea or a consciousness that's already distorted, then dor distortion can't reach into the frequencies of perfection, sym symmetry. And so it's even if it is true, then it only has stance in a certain level or a certain world of people that exist there. You see what I mean? And that's why you find that uh, below the moon, you get several sub-levels of consciousness. This is when you get an individual that is a star or now a, a, a star on the earth, another celestial body, basically, but now fall into the earth, actually enticing individuals to come this direction and to do this different thing. This is singers, songwriters, etc., etc. And so you have these uh, sub-lords sub or divas, as it's called, and also in the, uh, in the singing and also the Sanskrit text. So you get that also going on. So people need to be aware that you just break free completely of, of all of those different paradigms. Okay, because you got to remember that certain strong states of consciousness will come and set up a world here or basically a state of consciousness, a mind state, and it will still survive long after that individual is gone for those who choose to take upon that mind state for better or for worse. Right. And so what we have is, is we have some of those mind states still running and some people access those mind states to actually get involved with what's there. But when they seen again coming out of the cave, just already what we have at our access and where we are, you wake up every morning even if you have a nightmare you see the sun it shows you that you can pull yourself up to something you see what I mean and so also when we witness others that are not capable of doing that we do as much as we can to assist them but we also gauge what we're using to assist them with meaning that don't go into any of these scenarios where you have individuals practicing uh, heavy levels of, of, of distortion we'll call it that with words <laughs> like words are, are the are you're not even dealing with someone that is able to comprehend they're not dealing in a mental state they may be able to articulate their words properly and say different things but real true consciousness resides in the in the in the higher region of the brain you see what i mean so what i'm saying is is that a lot of individuals have to check their methods about what they're attempting to do about some of these lower states of consciousness also being able to denote when a certain teaching and a certain level of knowledge is from that state of consciousness and it only applies there rather than blending that in also with their total knowledge about what is going on and should be the interverse which is what you want to go on and that's why most people can uh, in the higher states of consciousness just shut down everything meaning that it becomes no connection between um, stories and like I said what goes on in the mind and what may be hypothetical and all that stuff slows down energy and when you get into a certain state then it's free of all of that and I'm sure you understand what, what I'm talking about but again we have to understand how to oscillate between our, our consciousness of working with this world and giving it the energy and what's associated with that energy so that it can it can grow and it can nurture itself into a uh, into a balanced harmonic direction while also keeping a fair energy supply ourselves so that way we can stay powered up and in this because it's easy to to uh, get more or less infected by some of the states of consciousness that are out there and some of the things that they say now we have no we don't have to go and read uh, many of these dark decrepit books about you know different worlds trying to find if they uh, have discovered the truth the truth is self-evident <laughs> And so the moment that you open it up, if it's not a book about yourself and how your body is working, and how your mind is working, and how your spirit is working, and that is resonating with you as crystals or something like this, then it's automatically something that has already been intruded the mind as an idea and the same reason of why we may fall from our higher states of consciousness or oversoul at, at times. But also never, never forgetting our oversoul is always there. We hold multiple positions as a hyperdimensional being. So if we choose to reside in this state of consciousness for a moment it's easily our choice to go into more of our oversoul state of consciousness while remaining here some people think that we can't do it yeah, both at the same time and that you know, when you go in what I do every day exactly so just being job, being that beacon for others I, I try I mean you are you're that beacon for others but they see your beacon and they don't like it but these people that I'm dealing with at the same time you know they're like I swear they're like they're 80 years old but they look like they're 45 okay so when, when I was asking about that obscene ride, um, I mean, and at the same time, I've noticed that they're 
that what they do all have in common is that they've all adopted a little child from somewhere like, you know, somewhere like Asian country or African country, right. um, that type of thing, um, with the same blood type that they have. And what I've come to, um, you know, I have a master's in chemistry, but we would do certain little things um, in biology um, uh, that showed that when you take a, a sickly cancerous rat and then you take a small young rat and you, you know, transfer it blood and do a blood transfusion, that rat starts to re just literally, um, I can't think of the name now, it's just a reversing of, of being, you know, no, no more tumors, no more cancers, none of that, and, you know, and, and they being young. And I well, I mean, that, but, reason. you know, I would, I would have to stop you there only because, you know, that that's that's evident. I mean, that's that's in multiple ways. It's, it's not even just, you know, what's going on in people's households and, you know, children they may have adopted and, and draining energy, et cetera. And that's why this is the other thing that I want to talk about because, you know, I'm glad we've got to the point and obviously I need to, to get close, get to the closing of the conversation. But what I will say is, is that if you notice that if our, our consciousness is constantly used, um, because there's a new story, like just recently they said there's a story, they're putting out technology and some of the phones can swap out a person's soul immediately, right, and, and put a new soul in there. And they go on with this kind of thing, yeah. just like, okay, these people have this, this, this uh, energy and they could take energy from people, right? But the thing is, that is evident. Like, it doesn't have to be that phone that can do that. It doesn't have to be um, um, some individuals that may have adopted some children. There, it's going on on multiple levels, even on a microcosmic level, something that is feeding on you. It's about whether certain individuals are going to be able to charge themselves up enough to shake off the, the vibration. It's a real thing. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't accompany somebody not believing in you and, 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 and these people, may, they're not getting it. That means you're using the wrong tools. Like, like I said, the energy that comes off of a person's body, if it's really on the activated level, it actually vibrates things so what you'll find it's a vivid thing though it can shake things you feel it coursing through you look at dynamo jack the qigong master this is the energy level that a person has to have a company with them when they're attempting to pierce light into a dense mind in a dense body in a dense soul which are individuals that we're attempting to still a quote-unquote talk to convince this is not the language of the spirit and it's not the language of the spirit to talk to people and to try to convince them of something the language of the spirit is energy and light and so this is how we have to penetrate the situation so if we find ourselves using other tools that's our fault likewise and but it's something that has to be desisted we have to work with it on an entirely different level and likewise like I said all of these lower states of consciousness in their sick world and all of what they keep putting out in Iron Man and in all these different movies that's going to continue it's about whether that becomes still food for us meaning that when we watch that do we get some type of gratification or does it actually seem to lead us somewhere if we feel like it does then we're still feeding on garbage there's nothing that is in that that it's actually going to lead someone somewhere just as the first page of the masonic manual says our, our, we, we were not going to lead you to the we're not going to tell you the truth rather we're going to lead you to a we're going to take you to a path that leads to truth here it says we are not here to teach truth but a path to it they're telling you right there they're not going to tell you the truth nothing about that is the truth what is built on is to distort your further uh, distortion of what you think the truth actually is so again on, on the ground zero since day one before phones got here before stars and everything got here we started having issues with our responsibilities if I keep complaining about these kids and what they're doing while they're playing in in, in, in their own mess then it's not going to get me to a position where it's straight and narrow right to what I need to do meaning that I got to go right to it like I don't have time again and you don't have time to keep talking when you can actually get yourself into a condition where you can vividly feel the force and if you don't feel it that means you have to do some adjustments but if you say that you have it and then you really don't you've only forfeited yourself from receiving it this is also where ego becomes installed as a, a, a kill switch to real states of consciousness or the real high vibratory frequencies because it is vivid in many tenses and like I said that is very exclusive to the individual it is also uh, it, it takes the person through the necessary process that they need to do to metamorphosize themselves but do expect if you have completed it 
that when you're even around a person or they're seeing who you are, that there becomes a change in them without you even saying anything. And I'm sure you've witnessed yeah, that possibly but intermittently. But again, exactly, they want to stay around. And then it's a constant thing, though, too. You have to constantly uh, take a person into these processes. They can't see your up points and down points, etc. Like, this is all a part of, uh, of understanding how to be a better teacher. But again, lower states of consciousness have a certain program. They're talking about all sorts of weird stuff and crazy stuff because that's how they roll. It does not apply to the higher frequency because it's non-symmetric and thus its distortion gets melt away in the actual spheres that make things perfect. So if your actual, your state of consciousness can rise into the oversoul level, that means that it has been fully shaped and molded to perfection. And this is not something that has to do anything with what we think perfection is because obviously our distortion of it would occur when we start thinking. It is simply about that it was already perfect before we started messing with it. And so that's what you keep finding, people trying to survive. First of all, that was the beginning of this conversation. Also, I didn't say, say anything about it, but notice how they're always fascinated. I'm going to make the body live forever. We're going to live forever, okay? Yeah. You're going to live to your certain period of time, but then you're, you want to come out of the cocoon and master uh, and, 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 uh, and, and uh, metamorphosize, right? So when you have a consciousness that just wants to live in the body forever, it will become vampiric because forever means forever. It gets boring. You no longer expect new things. And that's why I said about the parliament. You, you watch the, 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 uh, the crown. They have antiques everywhere. It's tea at 12. They're still wearing old jackets from the, uh, from the uh, 17th century. You see, they don't want to go into that unknown quotient, that area where it's, it's, it's not mapped yet, that it's unknown. And that excites us. So you see the difference? So you have one side of this consciousness that doesn't want anything new. And then you have this other side of the consciousness that is desperately needing to increase their level of how much they're able to, uh, to, to get on a consistent basis because they're constantly expanding. Now, what if they're being fed what you see the media pushing out and what you're seeing all these individuals believing in. That's what they're being fed. That's what they're eating. And again, that's why our energy is starting to decrease. But as a collective, this is something that we come into and we start handling from the levels of what we've learned. We have master teachers, Willem Reif. You have uh, guys like Dan Winter. You have guys like Dr. C.B. You have even David Icke in certain tenses. You have Michael Tassari. And you have all these different individuals that have come to lend their thought about it. And all it says to us is that just Listen, listen to the body of information, but then listen to yourself. Because if you hear all these voices, then they're just variations of you saying, this is what I found out. And I've taken in all of the encouragement, and I've also fired up some of the impurities in the message, especially if someone got too externalized before they read some, some whole team or something like that that shows you that the body is the universe. Christ is Kundalini. The whole thing is an interpolation what they're delivering on the external world. It's a plot against humanity by by none other than more degenerate older forces of ourselves that have yet to transcend. That's why we are their instructors, we are their teachers, but we can't let them lead us and let, uh, let them teach us something that we already know. That's why, again, notice how the whole conversation seems to stem around if someone then is trying to find out a spirit, like trying to find out that there's, uh, are there really spirits, this means that they don't know. This is already a defunct state of consciousness. There's been a constant degeneration of our species when, like I said, the warriors go off to war and get killed and die, and then the weaker men stay behind, and then they are the ones that populate because they mate with the women, and because that's all that's left. And then you have a constant, constant degeneration of the species until the actual genetics make their complete turn and begin to formulate its perfection, meaning that you have the perfect state of consciousness of the man, and then you have his imperfect state. We should be still using both of these in order to, to expand. We should not get stuck. And because we're still more than just men and women. So do you see how we still have to have this ability to see everything that's going on? That's why I say the mind is powerful because it's the place for that. It's quarantine as long as you know how to handle it. It's something where you can literally live out a scenario in a couple moments to decide that you don't want to do it. You're like, do you want to go to the mall? You think about the whole thing. Mm -mm, I'm okay. Right then, you just went to the mall, got there, saw everybody, and then you're already back in a couple moments. And it's quarantine because now you don't think about it anymore. But what's happening to right. us is that every time the brain gets loaded with information, it starts holding on to certain parts that appeal to it. But is it appealing to us? Or is it appealing to the gunad or the lower vibratory frequencies that are also in our body that have risen up in the unbalanced fear and actually 
dethroned us, throwed us down into the Cossacks of the foot, and then sitting here running the kingdom just like you see darkness running the world and don't even know where to take it. And then we have to stand up, then break off the fears, which are basically the sediment that is piled on top of us as we're balled up in a ball, sitting in there, uh, uh, you know, the position of when you're in ultimate fear is to close your eyes, basically. You ball up and you cover yourself as protectively as possible and you close your eyes. So if you can imagine where the child really is, our, our consciousness and where it's at. That's what it looks like. And then what's on top of it is all its fears. And so that's why when you start shaking the sediment, the first things that come about is the disturbance, the things that you don't want to see. And that's what keeps people from waking up. You see what I mean? It's all there. But then what we have to do is we have to start getting packets, piercing through all of that fear to that individual so that they can start to power up and they can break through those fears rapidly. Because notice how, again, that all these teachings that you're, that you're looking at, they, it really distinguishes only two different things, whether the Kundalini is going up or the Kundalini is going down. Do you worship King Rebus, which is actually a male female and androgyn and fallen angel, or do you worship yourself in the concept that all is self, so thus is full worship? It's basically species worship, where we all take care of each other, not some surrogate. So that's not even feeling what we're doing for it, right? So, you know, this is a massive thing.